Okay, I'm gonna play another game against Truxton and forward my thoughts. So here we go, he's playing the Carol Khan. <coughs> play the panel of Bolton if you can take. Because I think that white gets a good attacking position from it. At the cost of an isolated queen's pawn. See, if you don't take there, then you're going to have to develop the bishop. And then after that, he's going to take, and you effectively lose a, a tempo. So I take it right away. Uh, see, so he's pressuring this knight twice. So you have to defend it with bishop d2. Or queen the c2, but I like... I like this move better. Just a matter of taste, I think. Okay. I forget if he's actually threatening d4 right now. Let's see. A castle. Take. I could play queen a4 maybe. He comes back with his knight and then bishop to b5. Threatening the knight and the bishop. Because it'd be pinned. So he'd probably take c3. I take check. If he recaptures. Take up the queen and then take here. I think that line works. Um, yeah, I think that's fine. A castle. Knight takes, uh, what if knight takes, queen takes, hmm, queen check, you can just block it, I think, yeah. <coughs> when knight takes, knight takes, Queen takes bishop to e3. Queen back. Uh, it doesn't matter anymore. I'm not checking. I'll just go to b7. That allows bishop. Queen. Is he threatening it for real now? Can I play rook e1? Ignore it. Knight takes. Knight takes. Bishop to d3. He goes back. Rookie one takes 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 the queen. No, nope, there's a bishop still here, so it doesn't work. Huh, something tells me I can just ignore this still, I'm not... I... Hmm... Bishop g5 would be a good move, I think. Because then I'm threatening this bishop discovery if he ever takes. And so after bishop g5, he'd probably come back with his bishop, and then I could play rook e1. Hmm. I want to look one last time, can I ignore this? Take. Take here.
Uh, I guess I'll play this. This is good. Good enough. Okay, bishop to e7, rook e1. He'll probably play knight d5. Knight to d5. I can actually bring my bishop back to d2. I don't want to trade pieces here in an isolated queen's pawn. <coughs> I want to keep as many pieces as possible because if we go into an end game, I just have a weakness. But if we stay in the middle game with lots of pieces, I have good attacking chances. So I'm gonna play. It's probably gonna play either knight to b4. That's a good move. It's my bishop. And he's going to come to this hole. Or he's going to play knight to e5, I think. Probably one of those. I can retreat if he plays here, I think, to d2. If he takes, he's just strengthening my center. <coughs> Makes this pawn a little bit stronger. So. Knight b4, bishop to b1. Knight there, queen to d3. Or maybe he'll play b6, and bishop b7. Place knight to e5, bishop to d2, <coughs> bishop to f6. A queen to e2, and then on takes, 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 queen here, forks. Mm. e5 is strong. Here. Basically, what I need to do here in this opening is I need to make a battery with my bishop and queen, and preferably the queen's in front. So, usually, what you do is you bring this bishop back and then the queen up. Threaten right checkmate, and that forces him to push one of his pawns forward. And depending on what he pushes forward, you. Well, actually, I guess yes, play g6. Let's play g6. Then I try and trade off dark squared bishops, leaving a little bit of hole here. And then I try, you can try h4, h5, hit at this. Um, bring your pieces and go in those holes. Another plan, once you make them play g6, is to play your bishop to this diagonal. Maybe with h4, h5. And Sometimes there's sacrifices on e6, especially after you've weakened it out with h4, h5. Uh, you can also play d5, getting rid of the isolated queen's pawn. So it really all depends on how he defends it after, after I get him to play g6. But the first plan I need to do is to bring this bishop back, queen up, make him play g6. Um, I'd like to play queen c2, I mean, uh, bishop c2, queen b3. That gets forked, so a lot of times you'll play a3. Stop that knight coming in also. It can, if you bring your bishop back to b1, sometimes it can go to a2. In any case, it, I'm not sure how I'm going to set it up yet. It depends on what he does next. 
but one kind of natural move, I, I think, is is a3, and then bishop c2, and then queen d3. Hmm. It's probably going to be my plan. If he hits my bishop with knight to b4, then I'm going to come back all the way to b1. And then after he voluntarily goes there, I'll go queen to d3. If he doesn't, I'll play a3 and then queen to d3. When he comes here, I'm going to retreat my bishop. Um, I'm encouraging him to take here. Because then he has a one, this knight's a pretty good defender. Not only that, it stops my queen from going to e4. So one other way, if he comes here to take, is queen e2 to e4. b6, then I probably will play a3. b6, a3, bishop b7, queen c2, I mean, um, bishop c2, rook c8, queen d3. I think that's good. And then on Ever 95, I just retreat to, to d2. Well, I wish he would hurry up. Don't know why he's thinking so long. There's only like a few moves that make sense. B6, bishop b7, rook c8, to c7, d7. Okay, he did this one. See, I can't retreat. I don't want to trade. Can't go here. Here, he can just take it. So, the only reasonable move is this, I think. So, I just play it. Don't want to bring it back all the way in the box of rook. I'm okay with bringing this bishop back all the way because I'm going to reroute it later anyway to this diagonal. This one, I would just have to move again, just be in the way. I mean, bishop e3 is not terrible. It gives them the, option, that, the extra option of taking the bishop here, although I do get a pretty strong center. Um, but, I mean, I feel like after I played rook e1 and be better on F file, so it'd be like I'm wasting time if I go there. Moreover, in a lot of lines he's going to take on C3, and the bishop here kind of boosters this backward pawn. It's going to play his rook C8. Maybe bring his queen out, go after this pawn, but with the bishop there it's a lot harder. It's a lot easier to defend. <clears throat> so, what is his next plan? I would say bishop f6. Like I said originally, it would make the most sense. Then I can play queen to e2, because this is not hanging. After knight takes, knight takes, bishop takes, can fork him. Knight takes, knight takes, knight takes. I just take up the pawn, and it's protected, so... Either case, queen e2 
does the job. Another option is bishop to e4, because then I'd be threatening to give him an isolated pawn. Bishop d4, bishop f6, bishop e4, takes, 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 takes. takes here. Yes, three gaps with the pawn. Take, take. I think just queen e2. Because the bishop e4 might be able to take it. Take. Take. Bishop e4 takes, takes, bishop takes. Bishop g5 and queen, he'd have to retreat, takes. Or maybe take here first. I don't know, I have no. That might be okay. What's, what about queen e2? Queen e2. And then I go up with my queen to e4. It's pretty annoying. And then after he plays g6, I can play bishop h6. Yeah. And wait, on knight here, I can just go back. Not in this knight here. We need to knight. D to B4, because that uncovers a hit on this. Back. Knight takes. Hmm. We need to knight to B4. I really need this bishop, so I'd have to go back. This looks like it's hanging. He takes the queen. Here. Knight takes. Knight takes. Queen takes. Oh, I can always play queen to h5. I can play g6. So, bishop to e4, and queen to e2. Bishop e4, maybe. Knight takes, bishop takes, pawn takes. Take, take, bishop here, bishop back, take, this would be hanging in the end. Okay, so that's one way to get rid of it. I don't know, I just like queen e2. Cause even after this line, if he does win this, he, I provoke the weakness. Back. Take, take, mean take, 
H6 Maybe H6 maybe No, because then I play bishop takes Okay, uh, queen e2 is okay. I think they're, they're both lines that I remember that exist. I mean, queen e2 is the most consistent with what I said before about making this battery. I just hope it doesn't get too messy because you can play knight to. Like D to B4. Here, bishop back. Knight takes. Knight takes. Queen takes. Also knight to e4, that's pretty uncovering on this knight, hitting this bishop. Queen h5. G6. Mm -hmm. Let's see what happens. I mean, if he plays b6, then I think queen e4 is just super strong. g6, bishop here. Rook out. can bring the other rook in. I can play h4, h5. So I think he's really got. He's, he's pretty much has to play knight to d4. I think it should be the d knight to uncover on the pawn. Wow, he played g6 voluntarily. That's just just terrible. I was going to spend like two or three moves making him play g6. And he's just doing it on his own. Okay. He just bishop h6 here. Rook. Mm. Probably just rook over. That makes sense. Oh, you know, he can't play rook over. Can he? Oh, I'm not sure. Let's see. Oh, right. Because this knight, this pawn is pinned. So if I can play bishop to, B, to c4, I would actually be threatening to win the game. That also gets the bishop in the correct diagonal now. But this this one's blunted. Um, because 
This helps support the square in front of the isolated pawn, so I can push it. So bishop c4, rook here. It's a good plan. And then um, knight e4, the bishop. Play knight here. Then I'll have a bunch of things hitting this diagonal. Now one, two, three, four. So I might sacrifice. That's always in the air. <coughs> So, he can play rook e8, but when I play bishop c4, it's with tempo, because this is pinned. This, this pawn's pinned. And bishop g7 allows me to trade him off, and then he has a lot of really dark squared weaknesses. Now I can use my knights to cover these squares here. My queen can go in at some point. Okay. This is a good move. Bishop c4, you can't really take here because you just play. And knight takes. So he's probably gonna have to bring one of these knights back like that. Oh, let's see, then I have a bunch of choices. I could bring my rook in the middle, play knight here. Hitting this this kind of loose square. Um bring my queen up and I'd be threatening the same thing again and also she would have the possibility of, of moving along this rank mm. <sighs> We're all pretty good. B4 is just like a one move thread, but it doesn't prove my piece while making the threat. Rook okay, D1 also looks strong. Can't hurt to move rook to support my pawn. Be on the same foul as his queen. Yep. Knight e4 hits the bishop. And it pretty much has to go to h8. Using a lot of time again, he normally does. Hmm. Okay. Bishop b5, and he plays a6. Bishop b3, if he plays knight a5, he's really moving his knights to the wrong places, so. b3, knight takes. Oh, that might be hanging. Bishop b5. Bishop b3, knight takes, knight takes, bishop takes, I could pin it. This 
is also protected, so maybe that's not even necessary. Maybe I can just play d5 right now. Um, bishop takes here. Something takes. Five bishop takes here. Knight B5. Here's the bishop. I can just pin it and win it. So he can't take this pawn after bishop B5. Five A6. I take it, and then he has all these isolated pawns. It might be, it might be good for me. Takes, takes. Should be three. Knight takes, knight takes, queen takes, probably. Rook A to D1, queen C5. E5, bishop takes, takes. If it's knight here, then rook A wins, I think. No, wait, does it? D5, bishop takes. Be bad, I think. It's dark squares. Takes, takes, pin it. You'd have to move his other rook, and then I can bring my queen in. That'd win. Okay, so that might be a thing I can do. Can't take it because I made him. If he takes my bishop, though, let's see. Just take. D5, knight takes. Maybe I just take his knight. And he has to retreat because I'm hitting him. And then I can do something with this pawn. D5 knight takes, pawn takes. And I can bring my other rook over. D5 is a choice. Or I can play bishop to B5. Bishop B5. And I take it. All of his pawns would be in light squares, which would be good, but it's hard for me to get it to D5. Huh. Bishop to D7. Pawn push. I would win, okay. I can't decide between bishop b5 and d5. Bishop b5 is pretty annoying. It attempts him to take the pawn. I think I'll do this one. Just because I didn't like knight takes, pawn takes, knight retreats. If you do pawn takes, then all of his pieces are, are active and stuff. And I don't know what else to do with my turn.
Rook A, Queen C7. He's gonna win this back and get his bishop out. Wow, he played bishop D7. I don't think that's that good because of D5 now. D5, bishop takes. D5, bishop takes, pawn takes. You can capture the pawn. D5, bishop takes, pawn takes, knight takes. Wait, d5, you can just take it now, because this is defended. Crap. Well, just my rook over, I think. Defends this enough times. And then if he plays a6, I can just bring it back to somewhere. Maybe I can't. Knight d4 makes sense too. Knight d4. Threatening to come in here. Also threatening to take off this dark squared bishop. If he takes. I have. In between check, take, take, take. This skewers and wins this. Oh, he's got that there. No, 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 that does skewer it. Okay, so... This looks good, actually. When bishop takes... I can play... Bishop takes... Pin him maybe, or maybe knight into here, hitting this. Take there. Yeah, there's enough resources I think. Don't really feel like calculating it all out because I don't think it makes sense for him to do. Oh wait, knight take check here. Take take yeah okay. He can't play knight takes. I think. Because of the line I just said. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Bishop takes is equally asking for it. Bishop takes. I can just take it off right away. So at the cost of a pawn, we can permanently. Which is man, I don't know if that's worth a pawn. But I can take the knight off. He'll have to take with the bishop, and then I pin it. Feel okay to d1. And something, something, something. Can I play e5? I hope not. Bishop takes, bishop takes, bishop. Rook here, e5. Hmm. <sighs>
let's see, Bishop takes, Bishop takes, Bishop takes, Bishop <sighs> takes Bishop Rook Not that line's that great for me. Oh no. Why did I do that? Okay. Bishop takes, maybe I just take it. Don't really want that to happen. Look here. Then if he pushes, is this any different? I think that is different. So that I'm um, down upon. I can play bishop here and into there and stuff. Queen here to here. Okay. <laughs> I'm just going to final rope to the middle. Here's kind of annoying. Is it? I don't know if it's annoying. I want to move my knight to the middle. This is a liability here. I really want it to be here. His knights are guarding these two squares. Maybe I can play e3. Then my rook over. I can't go on Rook to d1. Bishop to b4. If I go back here, can you take my pawn? You might just be able to take a pawn. Perhaps. if I get anything for that. Um, I would like to be able to start my thing. E3 stops that, so I think A3 might be a start. I want to keep his pieces off the square. The knight can use it to hop to d5. The bishop can use it just to harass me slightly. <laughs> There's no tactics. This is guarded a bunch. 
So I think he's just gonna play rook c8, probably. He's kinda tangled up because he'd like to have his knights controlling this square. But the bishop's blocking the way. This knight can come in. That might be a good move. Knight here. Then I would play my bishop here. And then my rook over. Then knight in. Yeah, the whole plan I would just pieces would kind of flow. So rook c8, rook d1. You have to get this knight out of the way. Needs this bishop to do something. I don't know. He's all tangled up. That's why it's good not to trade pieces. It's hard to maneuver around as black. Let's see. <laughs> My bishop back where it belongs. Bishop c4, knight f6. Bishop G, I mean Knight G5, Knight G4, trapping the bishop, Knight takes F7, protecting the bishop, King takes, Bishop takes, Bishop takes, King takes, checkmate. That'd be a neat trick. might go there anyway, regardless of what it is. Rook c8, right there. Running, take, take. Get this knight out of the way, I guess. Maybe just rook over. Let's see. Rook c8, rook d1, right here. Right here. Hmm. I think this is looking good for me. My attacking prospects. One's good with knight e5 because if he ever takes, kind of has pressure here on his queen. An advanced pawn that'd be pretty solid. Wouldn't be isolated anymore. Just gonna come back into this little hole I made because this is the correct diagonal for my my bishop. D1, ninety five. You just take here or something. I mean after no, you can't. He takes here, no, there's a lot of pressure on this hole. Maybe put my queen there, throw a knight in there. It's one plan.
Maybe I could play d5 too. We're just gonna look out for d5. Seven. G4. Just bring the knight back, I think. just eat like five pounds of food before playing this game and I don't really feel like talking I'm all comfortable in my bed I literally just fall asleep right now go play knight e5 if he takes it he fixes my isolated pawn he puts one of my pawns touching his dark square weaknesses where my knight can hop in he opens up this file all sorts of bad things for him if he takes this pawn here, maybe five. I wish my queen was on d3. I think there'd be rook sacks and stuff. This is still probably correct. Let me play queen up three with this pawn. Don't have to always play sacrifices. Well, that might actually be strong. That sacrifice, I'm not sure. Check. King back. D5. Trying to pry this. Shoo. That looks deadly. Just sacrifice everything at him. 
There's something to be said about the slow approach too, especially because it's getting low on time. So, I mean, he really can't push this pawn without just resigning the game on this diagonal. So, here... I don't know how he defends easily. Just take the knight. Then I'm all ready to jump in there. Pretty good move. I think. Knight takes. Queen here, can you just come back? Queen f3, knight f6 to try and block, and then I play knight here. There's nothing to do except resign. Also, indirectly pressuring this. Hit this guy again. I think he's pretty screwed, to be honest. Because while I've been improving my pieces slowly, but shortly, he's been pretty much just moving back and forth. He needs to trade off some pieces, but I've created a situation where any, the trades he makes would actually strengthen my position and get rid of the weakness, so... Let's see. I think g6 here was a big mistake. Although my bishop did a little bit of dance, so did his knights. I mean, that's why I did that little dance. Eventually I got to the right diagonal, he still congested up. I think he's like required to play like f6 or f5. F5, I play knight c5 probably. I'm covering queen on the knight, and if he takes it, that adds another attack to the rook. So he probably wouldn't take. But actually, he would have to because I'm threatening to win his bishop. 
Oh, this is just awful for him. I don't know what he's going to do. Knight c5. Looks good, knight c5. What's this? What's this? Alright, if six loses instantly to that. Probably just taking it. Taking there is pretty good too. Whew, that's disgusting. Knight f6. Knight takes f7. King takes. Check. King back. Knight takes here. He takes. This is uh. This is lights out. This is also lights out. They're all lights out. <laughs> Expecting something like this. Knight here, maybe? Um, G6, knight here, ignoring the fork. <laughs> that might be good too, G6 here. Oh, I don't know. G6 here, no, you can take, take, and then take. Doesn't quite work. He's only got two and a half minutes, and he has to figure out how to defend this because even with f6, just move out of the way and then pressure the crap out of his knight on d5. If I don't even have a sacrifice right away, which I might. Oh, on f6, maybe I just take here. Queen takes. Ship takes. Check. Takes. Threatening mate that I went upon. I don't know. I don't know. F6 takes, queen takes, and I just come back, maybe. Because I have nothing on this pawn, except this queen. And I'll have rooks and bishops and everything on it. So maybe just playing not too sacky. I don't need to sacrifice. The position's too good <laughs> to need to sacrifice. I can just sit and let it win itself.
I don't think there's a defense. Those are all the defenses. F6, F5, Knight back. None of them defend anything, they just lose. <laughs> Maybe you should just take my knight. Takes, takes. Now then, this is serious. This is all sorts of serious. Maybe this is his best bet. Because of this pin, I can't, can't do anything. I don't know. Could have happened that way, Truxton. <laughs> yeah, right. Won't play any of that. <laughs> um. He plays here, then. No, that's good for him. I don't know. Yeah, this is actually pretty bad. That's that's probably what I would have done. Bishop takes and then queen f4. Getting out of this pin. Now I am threatening this. So it just does something like this. Here. Because now what I can do is... Queen there, 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 there. Something like that. I don't know. I would have figured it out. Well, good game.